Hi everybody, it's Jennifer with Creative Cricut Designs at Blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to use your Imagine through your Gypsy. The Gypsy Imagine update was available yesterday and you just go to your computer, download the Cricut Sync software and update your Gypsy and then update your Imagine by using the USB cords. It took me almost two hours to get everything done from start to finish and that included um, downloading the the Cricut Imagine or uh, cartridges to my Gypsy as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Imagine application. And then the first thing that you're going to want to do is choose the Imagine cartridge that you're going to be working with. So if you're going to be printing any um, of the pattern paper or anything like that, you're going to want to go to that file first. And then um, print and cut. We're going to go to the Imagine More cartridge, which is down here. And we're going to be using the Imagine More cartridge. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the regular Cricut cartridge by just pushing this button down here, same as on your Imagine. We're going to go to Plant and School Book. You're going to want to get two rectangles, then push next, and then I'm going to edit them, and I want this pattern paper right here to be in my first one, which is a green um, polka dotted type paper, and I want that to be at four inches. So I'm just going to click down and then I'm going to click apply. And then this one I'm going to use like a cream color and that's from the Imagine um, More cartridge as well. And this one I'm going to put up to six inches. Even though my card base isn't going to be that big, um, I'm just going to play it safe and I can cut off the extra. Okay, and then the cream that we want is right here from the Imagine More. We're going to hit Apply. Okay, and then we're going to go back. And we want to get the shamrock from the Paper Doll Dress Up. So you're just going to hold down the original um, Cricut logo thing. Here, let's see if I can go back. Right here, this is your original, um, what am I trying to say, cartridge. So your original cartridge, hold it down, and then it's going to give you a list of them all. So we're going to go down here to, what was it, paper doll dress ups, right? Up, up, up. Right here. And what I want is the shamrock, which I know it's one of the accessories and it's a shift lock feature. And it's right here. So it would be accessory three sh shift. So that's a shamrock that I want. And I'm going to go to next. <clears throat> and we're going to edit him down because it's too big. And we're going to go with three and a half inches. And I'm going to choose the color that I want. And the color that I chose from a different cartridge um, is the color from, let's see, it's from the Mr. Frosty cartridge. And the RGB codes for this color is red 72, green 162, and blue 76. So I'm going to push apply and then apply again. And here's the images that we're going to cut out on our Imagine. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera and everything and get this set up for you. Okay, so I've powered on my Imagine and I have my gypsy cord plugged into the back of it and I'm going to plug it into my gypsy. 
just like you would on your expression. Then I'm going to press next. It says connected to Imagine to complete print and cut. Please follow instructions on the Imagine screen. So I'm going to press OK. And it says on my Imagine your regular um, print and go. Zoom in on there. See where it says print and cut, go. Okay, so we're going to press that. Let me get my paper in here. Please insert the following cartridge. Imagine more. So, you know, when you were working with your gypsy and your expression or your baby bug or whatever, you didn't have to put in a particular cartridge or any cartridge at all. But according to this, I need to put in my Imagine More cartridge so that I'm able to print out my pattern papers. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have my cartridge right here, plugged in, and now it's preparing the print job. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and assemble the card. So I just took a piece of craft colored cardstock and it's A2 size and it's cut the long way at four and a quarter. So it makes four and a quarter by five and a half card. And the layer that I cut, I believe it was five by seven, which is the cream colored. I'm actually not going to use that. I'm going to flip it over. I use basil cardstock, just white cardstock, and I'm just going to use the other side for the white. I'm going to go ahead and get that adhered down to my card. And you'll see why I use the white instead. I printed out a sentiment on my computer. And um, I did it on white, so I'm just going to kind of get it all to match. So there's that. And then here's the um, paper that I cut out with the Imagine as well. And I went ahead and inked around the edges of my card and my um, cardstock with black ink. And this is going to go on here, but I'm going to use some twine to wrap around my card. And I'm just going to... I don't know if I have any tape. So I'm going to try to see if this will work, but I'm not sure it will. So we're going to kind of just wrap it around and then down the middle. And then we'll go ahead and cut the excess off. My scissors out. And I'm using twine from the twinery. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere this um, onto our card. Like so. And then here's my clover. I actually also, the green mat I had to recut. And I cut that at 5 inches. So the, the white base, which was the cream, was at 6 and this is at 5. I'm still having a hard time trying to figure out what sizes to use on my Imagine. Um, again, with the update, you're not able to move stuff around on the mat like you are with the regular Gypsy files where you can move it around and size it the way that you want. Um, you're not able to size the images any different than what it is like the Imagine. You know how like on your expression if you're using the regular Gypsy you can make it you know if it's one inch by four inch or change anything the size to make it the size that you want. But with the um, Imagine you're not able to do that. You're still at you know the 5.0 or the 4.2 stuff like that. Um, so I still have to play around with my sizes to get them just right. So um, just wanted to give you that heads up on that. And then my 
clover that I cut um, that was cut at three and a half inches and I used the Peachy Keen Stamps, the Everyday Character Faces and I used the one right here in the bottom which is a, a one inch stamp so I did go ahead and I stamped that on there and I um, colored it in with the white gel pen and then I'm gonna probably pop this up on here and then my sentiment I printed on my computer and I used the um, the font that I use is Curls MT and I cut that at 16 points and I have it, it says Happy St. Patrick Day Happy St. Patrick's Day and um, it's cut out in green so it's gonna so it's gonna go in here and I kinda did some chalking around the edges, ink around the edges of that as well <coughs> excuse me and then what I did is I took the Fabulous Finds cartridge and I cut out this paper clip, clip message and I used the jagged um, creative feature which, where do I have that? It's right here. So this is the paper clip that I used um, on page 107 and then I did this feature. I used the jagged feature and it gives the jagged edges around the phrase or whatever around the sentiment that I cut out and then I just measured it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply this I'm going to put this on here and actually I'm going to cut some of the bottom of the paper clip that's going to go behind it because you're not going to see it and it's getting stuck on my pop dot. So I think we're just going to do it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Right like that. So we're going to put some pop dots on the back of this as well. And I'm going to probably put three of them on there to hold it good. So just like that and then um, we'll probably glue down some on here. Get it to stay. Maybe. Just like that. So then that's going to be my card for today. Happy St. Patrick's Day card using the Cricut Imagine and my Gypsy. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.